Hi, this video is about making predictions in the face of uncertainty. Your town is threatened by a flood. The Bureau of Meteorology predicts that the flood will peak at 10 plus or minus 1 metres above sea level. The town levees are a whopping 12 metres above sea level. Should you evacuate? Now, of course, in the media, they'd say 12 is more than 10, therefore we're safe. However, being physicists, we want to worry about that near plus or minus 1. What is actually going on here? Are we safe? Okay, so let's think about this. So we can plot the height and the probability and assuming that the Bureau of Meteorology used the standard uncertainty, which they damn well ought to, and in fact generally do, that's telling us that the probability distribution function for the flood peak height is going to be a Gaussian curve, looking something like that, with a mean up here, mu equals 10, and a standard deviation of 1 metre. Now, if disaster is going to strike, that's going to require us to go over 12 metres, so that's somewhere about here. That's 2 away from the centre. So basically any value upwards from there is going to spell watery doom for your town. So. The probability of that happening is going to be the integral of the area under the Gaussian curve from 12 and upwards. What is that area? Well, you could look up a table of Gaussian integrals, or you can remember that the probability of something being within two standard deviations of the mean, P2 sigma, is 95%. So if we go from plus 2 to minus 2, the total area inside that is 95%, hence it's 5% outside. Of that 5%, your half will be down there, so there'll be 2.5% down there, and 2.5% up here. So that's saying that the odds, odds of a flood, are about 2.5%. So should you evacuate? Um, I probably would at the 2.5%. That means there's a um, quite reasonable chance that things will flood. I mean, it's not very big, but uh, the, if you don't evacuate, you could be in a lot of trouble. Um, the thing you'd have to bear in mind in this case is that, in fact, most things like flood distributions, bushfire risks, earthquake risks, don't really follow a Gaussian distribution, but actually have rather higher tails, so they look something like that. Uh, so in fact, extreme floods happen a lot more often than a Gaussian model would normally say. So if even a Gaussian model is giving a 2.5% chance, it pretty means the real chance is more like 10%, so I'd evacuate.